Welcome to the Silly Song Telethon, where we ask you the question, if I sang a silly song, what would it be about? Coming to you animated from atop the beautiful Veggie Tales Theater, starring Larry the Cucumber. For the next hour, our all-star cast of vegetables will take calls from VeggieTales fans everywhere. Then Larry himself will sing a silly song on a topic you suggested. Isn't that awesome? And now, Larry the Cucumber! Hey everybody, thanks for coming. If you like to talk to tomatoes, if a squash can make you smile If you like to waltz with potatoes Up and down the produce aisle oh. Oh. <laughs> Have we got a show for you? Veggie Tales Veggie Tales Veggie Tales It's time everyone. I can't wait to see what great ideas you have for a silly song. And I'm really looking forward to picking my favorite. What do we got so far? Hello, silly I'm song sorry. telethon. What's your favorite color? I'm just kidding. What's your suggestion? Lint brush. I've got the cold side of the pillow. A llama who eats spaghetti. <laughs> wow, those are all great ideas and we're off to a great start. While we keep taking calls, we're gonna count down your favorite silly songs from the past 10 years. Results were tabulated by the accounting firm of Jimmy and Jerry. Jimmy and Jerry, two gourds with an abacus. So without further ado, your favorite silly songs. Number 10, The Biscuit of Zazamarandabo. The biscuit of Zazamarandabo, it lies atop a mound of snow. High in the hills where the cold winds blow, it's the biscuit of Zazamarandabo. Come on, let's go! The biscuit of Zazamarandabo. Our bags are packed and ready to go. Let's start the van and be gone. Start the van and be gone. Now our bags are all packed and we're ready to go. Let's start the van and be gone. Come on, let's go! The biscuit of Zazamarandabo. What's that you say? We can't leave yet today. You've just got an errand to run. I just have to stop at the bank. You just have to stop at the bank? Well, if you insist, I suppose, we can deal with a minor delay. Deal with a minor delay. Say, Archibald, who made this biscuit anyway? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Sir James McNabb of the Guild of Go. He made the biscuit so long ago, and the people they traveled to see it glow on the mountain of Zazamarandabo. Come on, right. let's go! Hey, the biscuit of Zazamarandabo. Oh, what is it now? This isn't the way. I just need to stop for some goldfish food. You don't even have a goldfish. No, but I was thinking of getting one, and I wouldn't want him to go hungry. Anybody need anything? Uh, maybe a venti half calf vanilla hazelnut latte? Hold the whipped cream. <laughs> And maybe one of those little chocolate-covered graham crackers? So, Archie, what's so great about this biscuit, anyway? Well, if you really want to know, the biscuit of Zazamarandabo was lost to the world many years ago until my great-uncle Archibo stubbed his toe on the frozen dough of the biscuit of Zazamarandabo. Come on! Oh, please, go! No tea! The biscuit of Zazamarandabo! No, not again! It's just not fair! Gravy. Huh. I might have made a wrong turn. <gasps> Back to the van! Back to the van! It isn't too late! Let's go! So high in the hills where the cold winds blow, the biscuit of Zazamarandabo! We're almost there! Oh, isn't this great? Who needs to take a party break? Me! <gasps> no! The biscuit of Zazamarandabo, it lies at the top of the 
snow. High in the hills where the cold winds blow, the mist can have Zazzle and the bow. I suppose this has been Silly Songs with Archie. Tune in next time to hear Larry say. I always thought you were the announcer. So did I. Number nine. Good night, Junior. to hear Junior say... Can I have a drink of water? Number eight, Sippy Cup. And what would you like to drink? I'll just have water, please. And could I have it in a glass this time? Hmm, let me check my records. Just as I suspected, good thing I stopped and checked it. My pad is stained and blotted from liquids you spilled on it. I'm afraid the jig is up. You must use a sippy cup. Stop! Don't bring me a sippy cup. Haven't spilled since yesterday. Water won't stain anyway. Bring a mug, bring a jug, just don't bring a sippy cup. Let me check with the bus boy. Is he the one? <gasps> it's you! Every time I fill it, he turns around and spills it. I've bought a hundred blotters, cause you can't hold your waters. This time I'm not mopping up. You, you must, must use a sippy cup. No! Don't bring me a sippy cup. They'll be making fun of me. Put a pail in front of me. Bring a mug, bring a jug, just don't bring a sippy cup. Well, I could ask the maitre d'. This is impossible, he puddles a bar cafe. You take me for a fool, a restaurant's not a pool. Take his glass and lock it up. The pickle gets a sippy cup. Wait, don't bring me a sippy cup. This time I'm not gonna spill. I'm pretty sure he will. Spilling soda's not a crime. If it is, I'll do time. Just don't bring a sippy cup. Order, order in the court. I judge you the clumsy sort. By the dictates of our laws, I sentence you to safety straws. It's 
the governor. Yes, I see. Very well. Thank you, governor. <clears throat> Give me back that sippy cup. You've been granted sippy stay. This must be my lucky day. This must be his lucky day. Bring a mug, bring a jug. I'll bring an absorbent rug. You, you don't, don't need a sippy cup. Compliments of the house. Grape juice. Grape juice? Oops. Sorry. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say, I'll take that sippy cup. Number seven, Pants. Welcome, viewers. What comes next? A pair of pants with stripes or checks? Dig in your wallet, dump out your purse. Who'll be the one to buy the first pair? You can wear them if you're big, you can wear them if you're small, they're pants if you're short, and shorts if you're tall. You can wear them in the spring, you can wear them in the fall, they're pants if you're short, and shorts if you're tall. Sold five so far, down to 20. Look what you get for a little bit of money, down to your feet and up to your tummy. If you buy right now tonight, we'll throw in a set of Ginsu knives. A pair of pants could change your life. One easy payment. $9.95. See the tag on the back, one size fits all. Bear pants if you're short. And shorts if you're tall. You can wear them to the farm, you can wear them to the mall. Bear pants if you're short. And shorts if you're tall. Sixteen more, we're down to four. You can't buy these in any store, they're just like your granddaddy wore. Pants. Oh, pants. pants have six legs less than a squid. It's a verb for a dog and a noun for a kid. With a pair of pants, you're not alone. You can dance with your pants till the cows come home. This pair of pants will win your heart. We accept most credit cards. A stretchy waist elastic band makes these your buffet eating pants. Trousers, slacks, or corduroys. Pants bestow a special joy. As seen on the screen of your TV, these pants can hide unsightly knees. This pair is made of high grade vinyl. Don't hesitate, all sales are vinyl. To summarize, you might recall their pants, pants if you're short and shorts if you're tall. <laughs> One, going, 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 done! We're out of pants, we gotta run! Pants! You've got some skinny legs. Pants! Number six, where have all the staplers gone? We don't have much time before the big meeting. No, no we don't. Have you seen the scissors, miss? They're in the bottom drawer. I tried that drawer, but they're there no more. That's odd. I know I thought for sure. Have you seen the masking tape? It's right next to the phone. Oh, that's what I thought, but now it's not. Hmm. I guess I should have known oh, oh, where, where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The ballpoint pens are gone again They're gone again The, the stick it pads have lost their stick Do you remember when? Rubber bands, we're in their place. They're in the middle drawer. Light bulbs, easy to replace. Yes, there were always more. Reads of paper raining down. Legal pads, a plenty. Highlighters in every hue. I remember. Never less than twenty. Oh, where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The ballpoint pens are gone again. They're gone again. We've run out of packing slips. 
Someday my prince will come Please replace the toner Someday we'll find more rocks. Our vanilla folder Someday my prince will come Where's the printer cable? Someday we'll find more rocks. Adhesive shipping label Show tunes with Lev. Tune in for Act Two, Revenge of the Staplers. <sighs> Wonderful! We're halfway through the top ten silly songs of the past ten years. Where are we at with new ideas, guys? H Hello? Silly yeah, yeah this is uh, this is Jerry. What's your suggestion? No, I'm the other one. Oh, 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 that's a good idea. No. Platypus! A goldfish love song! Unusual gelatin molds! Unusual gelatin molds, well... Hey, how about a goldfish who thinks he's a platypus who's in love with a platypus who thinks she's a goldfish? Okay, let's continue on with the top five silly songs from the past ten years. Number five, Lance the Turtle. Uh, what's going on? You are doing the ukulele karaoke, no? No, I'm on a break. I I, I don't even know the song. Your lyrics, monsieur. Bring in the props. Uh, but wait, I... I you... Your island breeze, monsieur. Hold on a sec. I'm totally unprepared to do a solo. Your backup singers. What? Isn't that the... Oui. They are the Wiggly Turtle Tubies. The Wiggly Turtle Tubies. They look taller on TV. So do you, Tomato! Uh, but really, this is Larry's gig. I can't just... This show must go on, monsieur. Quick, that is your cue. Just follow along, you will be fine. But... Let's that turtle. Hello, Hollands. Let's that turtle. Dance, dance, dance. Let's that turtle. Hello, Hollands. Let's that turtle. Dance, dance, dance. Well, I keep a little turtle at my uncle and my aunt's. My Annie's name is Myrtle and my island turtle's name is Lance. He doesn't wander far, even if he has a chance. He just plays his ukulele and he does the hula dance. What? Lance the turtle, aloha Lance. Lance the turtle, dance, dance, dance. Lance the turtle, aloha Lance. Lance the turtle, dance, dance, dance. He threw a luau barbecue one breezy summer night Invited all his turtle pals to come and have a weeky bite The turtle started walking there as Lance began to swing The one that lived across the street arrived there in the spring Oh, I get it! Turtles are slow! <laughs> so I took him a long time. <laughs> That's pretty good. Lance the turtle, aloha Lance Lance the turtle, dance, dance, dance but Lance just kept on cooking, he was grilling full of glee. He was marinating ribs cause he likes <gasps> uh, syrup with his feta cheese? Uh, I'm sorry, I... Lance's purple turtle shell has ketchup if you please. Pineapples are shiny spotted tiki bumblebees. Oh man. Lance the turtle, aloha Lance. Lance the turtle. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, guys, I don't think this is right. It doesn't make any sense. It works for us. <laughs> but this song, this song. Uh, there are luscious chocolate fingers spinning slowly in the school. Malay Kalikimaka, fluffy bunnies driving in the pool. <laughs> Larry, a thousand igloos wax the beach, spray luggage in the tree, raining puppies, flying clown, flossing Puna Hale. Ow! Oh, forget it. Whoa! The pack of sneezes, coconuts, tahini yo-yo leg, wahini whiskey jelly sauce, don't make the fuzzy parrot bag, paper plastic porcupine, the horsey makes his bed, the huma huma nuku nuku I wasn't fed. Lance and Turtle, hello Lance. This has been Ukulele Karaoke with Bob. 
Tune in next time when Bob says... I'll be in my dressing room. Dance, dance, dance. Number four, Gated Community. There once was a boy who lived in a house And the house sat under a tree By the tree ran a fence that stretched far and wide Around the gated community Can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree and my ball bounced up, and my ball dropped in to the gated community. Oh, the gated community is where we like to be. Everything's so lovely, your oh, hearts are filled with glee. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see what a lovely bunch we are in our gated unity. Um, can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree And my ball bounced up And my ball dropped in To the gated community Oh, the gated community is where we like to be Our clothes are never dirty and our lawns are always green And when you come to visit you can stand outside and see What a tiny bunch we are in our gated unity The gated community we think you will agree Is pleasantly devoid of unsightly street debris Free, free of debris. Gated Gated community. Community. Our smiles are wide and smiles and comfy custody. And when you come, come on, visit, you stand outside. What a smiley bunch we are in a gated unity. Can I have oh, my ball? Gated Can you get my ball? Like I kicked it into the tree. And, and my ball bounced up. And my ball dropped in. To the gated community. What a lovely bunch we are. To the gated community. What a happy bunch we are in a gated this has been Silly Songs with Larry. Oh, look! A ball! Tune in next time to hear Larry say... Thank you. Number three, Pizza Angel. Got the munchies on that fateful night, round eight o'clock. So I phoned in a pizza for delivery. But I had a feeling that something wasn't right, because I waited for hours and no pizza. I set the table with a paper plate. How would I know that it'd be late? It's taken so long, where could it be? Had a 30 minute guarantee. Pizza Angel, please come to me. Tomato sauce and cheese, so gooey. Pizza Angel, I'm on my knees. You're my number one pie from Sicily. Did it get lost? Did they just forget? Should I have ordered on the internet? Ready for dinner, now I'm not so sure. I think my soda's room temperature. Pizza Angel, please come to me. Tomato sauce and cheese, so gooey. Pizza Angel, I'm on my knees. And don't forget to add my favorite. Chicago style Going crazy while I pace the floor Then my heart skipped When I heard the door
I opened the door in expectation, but it was the saddest sight I ever saw. I could still smell the sweet aroma of deep dish goodness, but the box was empty. Your house number was broken, so I couldn't find you. I was getting kind of hungry, so I ate, ate your pizza. So, sorry about that. You don't need to tip me or anything. Pizza Angel, please come to me. Tomato sauce and cheese so gooey. Pizza Angel, I'm on my knees. You'll live forever in my memory. Pizza Angel, please come to me. Tomato sauce and cheese so I'll never forget you, Pizza Angel. Number two, Sport Utility Vehicle. I like your car. I like yours too. Is it a Jeep? A Subaru? I like your tires. You've got nice chrome. A trailer hitch. Left mine at home. Oh, your suspension, it suspends me over heights I've never known. And your roll bar is to die for, by the way. I like your chrome. You already said that. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you and me. In our sport utility vehicles Cruising to 7-Eleven For a bag of Frito-Lays Oh, you and me In our sport utility vehicles We'll slam into four-wheel drive And pick up a dozen eggs And if there ever was a snow, you know A really, really deep snow And if everyone was stuck but us We'd be the ones not and we could be the heroes. Oh, we could be the heroes. Yeah, we, we would, would be, be the heroes. Who would push them and pull them? Push them and pull them. Push them and pull them right out of the snow. I like your car. I like yours too. Periwinkle. It's baby blue. How's it handled? Like a dream. How about coffee? And then ice cream. Oh, you and me. In our sport utility vehicles. Cruising to Dunkin' Donuts. For a cup of steam and joe. Oh, you and me. In our sport utility vehicles. We'll slam into four-wheel drive. For a scoop of Rocky Road And if we ever go camping You know Haven't been but one day I'll go And we find a ranger stuck in a ditch A nice ranger in a deep ditch Then we could be the heroes Oh we could be the heroes Yeah we would be the heroes Who would push him and pull him Push him and pull him Your car, I like yours too. Is it a Jeep? It's my sport utility vehicle. And now, the number one silly song from the past 10 years Monkey! If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Even if it has a monkey kind of shape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Well, let's see if we can catch it on the tape. You can very plainly see if it's a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Look, 
There it goes, there it goes! I don't know! I can't tell if it's a monkey or an ape! It's very simple, Bob. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Oh, uh, Larry, I'm not so sure. Ooga booga, it's not a monkey. Ooga booga, maybe it's an ape. <laughs> if it's a nickel or a salad or a pillow, if it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. If it doesn't have a tail... Not a monkey. Are you sure that's what you really mean to say? A, a camera has no tail. It's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Huh. I think there's something wrong with your logic, Larry. Well, Bob, the lady at the zoo said it. And who am I to tell her that she's wrong? If there's a tail, it's a monkey. No tail, ape. It's easy. But Larry, a kite has a tail. Then it's a monkey. A comet has a tail. It's a monkey. A bubble doesn't. Then it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape? Exactly. I knew you'd catch on. Larry, we might need to talk about this. I don't think the lady at the zoo meant... Shh. Look, there it goes in the trees. Follow me. It's got to be a monkey or an ape. I can't believe it's true. All this time I've searched for you. Snap the picture, take the shot. We're among the lucky few. We finally did it. Photographer, we've discovered what we're after. Let me look. Is it an ape? Larry, this is a disaster. <gasps> it's a monkey. <clears throat> Larry, that's a cow. <laughs> Not that a... was exhilarating. Let's <sighs> find more. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Even if it has a monkey kind of shape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Bob say... Uh, Larry, you don't have a tail. I don't? Nope, and neither do I. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Bob. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, nothing. Whoa. How about that? Monkey! A very silly song with a very important lesson in primate morphology. How we doing? Time to pick a new silly song idea? Hello, silly song telethon. Ha ha have you called before? Your, your voice sounds familiar. Anything with coleslaw, it's in. Trust I'm me. I'm surprised we've never done that one. You need to stall. The calls are still flooding in. Um, stall? H how do I do that? <clears throat> oh, hi, Jean-Claude. Hi, Philippe. You guys okay? Oh no! Are you stuck? Someone help! Jean Claude and Philippe are stuck! Stuck where? In here, this invisible box. They can't get out. What are we gonna do? What if they run out of air? Here, use this invisible crowbar. <laughs> No, it won't budge. It won't budge? Well, give me that. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Larry, this is all pretend. Jean-Claude and Philippe are not stuck in a box. They're mimes. It's part of their act. We're helping you stall. Shh, mimes aren't supposed to talk. My bad. Hey, I know. Let's count down your favorite silly songs from the first 10 years. The classics. Results were tabulated by the accounting firm of Jimmy and Jerry. Jimmy and Jerry, two gourds with an abacus. Enjoy your favorite classic silly songs. Number 10, Dance of the Cucumber. Larry will be performing the traditional Argentinian ballad, The Dance of the Cucumber, in its original Spanish. Bob the Tomato will translate. Miren al pepino. Watch the Bien cucumber. Como se See mueve. how he moves. Como un león. Like a lion. Tras un Chasing a mouse. Miren al pepino. Watch the cucumber. Que suave es oh, how smooth his motion. Es como like butter on a chango pelón. Bald monkey. Miren al pepino. Watch the cucumber. Los vegetales. All the vegetables. Envidian a su Envy amigo. their friend. Wishing bailar. to dance as he. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Baila, baila, dance, ya. dance, yeah. Miren el tomate. Look at the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede bailar. He can't dance. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder bailar como el pepino. He wishes he could dance like the cucumber. Libre y suavemente. Free and smooth. Pero no puede danzar. But he, he can't. Okay, stop the music. What do you mean I can't dance? I can dance? Well, what about Uncle Louie's polka party? Didn't you see me dancing at Uncle Louie's polka party?
No comprendo. No comprendo? I'll show you no comprendo! Mom! Dad! Look over here! Get a picture of me next to the cucumber in authentic Argentina garb! Okay, Junior. But we better hurry. I think the dwarves have your mother confused with someone else. <laughs> Say peas! Peas! Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Oigan su voz fuerte. Here is strong Como voice. Como un león. Like a lion. Listo a devorar. About to eat. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Que dulce es su canto. How sweet his voice. The breath garganta. from his throat Parece is like a chorus trina. of little birdies. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Los vegetales. All the vegetables. Envidian a su amigo como el Wishing to cantar. sing as he. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Sing, canta sing, ya. yeah. Escuchen al tomate. Listen to the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede cantar. He can't sing. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él le sería por el cantar. He wishes he could sing. Fuerte y luce como el pepino. Strong and sweet like the cucumber. Pero no puede. But he can't. Ni siquiera da un sorbido. Can't even whistle. All right, that's it, senor. Come over here and let me sing you a song. Adios, amigos. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Bob is really angry. I hope he doesn't catch me. It's so hard to run with the sombrero on my head. Number nine, the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. There lived a man so long ago, his memories but faint. Was not admired, did not inspire, like president or saint. But people came from far and near with their afflicted pets for a special cure. They knew for sure wouldn't come from other vets. Whoa! He's gone a little loopy, in case you haven't heard. Here's a couple penicillin for your sickly arctic void. No skeptic could explain just how nor could one off three but The wondrous deeds that went on in that little alpine hut. Some would stand in silence while some just scratched their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Whoa! Good news on the penguin, Doc! He's up and kicking! In your car, drive into the city, buy a jug of milk for your nauseated kitty. The practice grew, their profits flew until one fateful day. When the nurse who did assist the doc asked for a raise in pay. The doctor pondered this a while, sat back and scratched his scalp, then said, no way, Jose! To the nurse of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps! Whoa! Good news on the kitty, Doc. She's feeling great. Six kittens. Main one after you. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. That'll work. He's good. You're late. You're late. No, wait. This should work. You're late. You're late. Now the moral of our story, it's the point we hope we've made. When you go a little loopy, better keep your nurse well paid. Whoa! Some would stand in silence while some just scratch their scalps. For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. Number eight, the water buffalo song. The water buffalo song. Everybody's got a water buffalo. Yours is fast, but mine is slow. Oh, where'd we get them? I don't know. But everybody's got a water buffalo. Ooh. I took my buffalo to the store. Got his head stuck in the door. Spilled some lima beans on the floor. Oh, everybody's stop got it. a... Stop, stop right this instant. What do you think you're doing? You can't say everyone's got a water buffalo and everyone does not have a water buffalo. We're going to get nasty letters saying, where's my water buffalo? Why don't I have a water buffalo? And are you prepared to deal with that? I don't think so. Just stop being so silly. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Everybody's got a baby kangaroo. Yours is pink, but mine is blue. Hers was small, but... <laughs> Number seven, Song of the Cebu. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Larry the Cucumber presents in a sequential image stereophonic multimedia event, the Song of the Cebu. A song about a little boy and his sabus. A song about a little boy and his three sabus. The little boy who had a sick sabu, a sad sabu, and a mute sabu. And also a hippo. Um, um, this is me at the airport. This is my Aunt Ruth. This is me at a bullfight. This is me fighting a bull. Whoa. This is me and the bull. Ah. This is me and the bull, and I think that's the bull's cousin. He's a sabu. Hold it! You call this a multimedia event? This is a slide projector and a bed sheet. And what on earth is a sabu anyway? It's kind of like a cow. See? Yes. Well, very good. Uh, this could be interesting. Carry on. Boy is riding with Sabu. Boy is riding with Sabu. Into town in his canoe. Into town in his canoe. Six Sabu is rowing and sneezing. A chumu mu, a chumu mu, a chumu mu, a chumu mu, mu mu. A chumu mu, 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 a chumu mu mu mu. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Can see boy and three Sabu. Can see boy and three Sabu. Sad Sabu is rowing and crying. Bahu mu mu, bahu mu mu, bahu mu mu, bahu mu 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 mu. Bahu mu mu, 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 bahu mu 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 mu. Say boo. Hippo seen by Mutabu. Hippo seen by Mutabu. Tries to tell the other two. Tries to tell the other two. Mutabu is waving and grunting. Uh oh. Wait! What happens next? Um. Does the hippo see them? Is the poor Mutabu? 
boat Cebu successful in communicating the imminent danger to the other passengers? Is the boy injured? Why is the sad Cebu sad? Is the canoe wood or aluminum? Oh, look. There's me and Bob at SeaWorld. Oh, wow. Ooh. Forgot about that one. There's me and that bull again. You can't just start a song and leave it hanging like that. You know, I've come to expect a lot more from you. This is quite disappointing. I'm going to have to speak to Bob about this. Oh, look, a Cebu. Cebu. No, wait. That's a water buffalo. No more song about Cebu. Need another verse or two. Audience is scanning and leaving. Bye bye, moo. Bye bye, moo. Bye bye, moo. Bye bye, moo. Bye -bye, moo. I want my money back. Yeah, that'd be good. Number six, belly button. a secret I've been hiding, I can't keep it no more. There's this thing about himself he's never told you before. Baby, he needs to tell you something. I don't got a belly button. Oh, I need to tell you something. Have you figured out he don't got a belly button? Belly button, no. Just tell me how you feel Cause his love is for real And if you went away My heart would never heal So to you he appeals There's something missing in my middle And it's hard to ignore There's this thing about himself He's never told you before Baby Covered by your shirt, shirt but not your HM or belly button. Belly button. A stylish something absent from my midriff's decor. There's this thing about himself he's never told you before. Maybe he needs to tell you something. I don't got. at least get a lollipop? Well, folks, only five more songs, then, hopefully, we'll have a brand new silly song chosen by you. Yeah. Oh, that's quite oh. nice, yes. In space. Okay, thank you. Okay, how day. we doing, guys? It's time! Come back and choose your silliness! Here we go. I'll be back after these top five classic silly songs. Number five, the pirates who don't do anything. 
We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. Well, I've never been to Greenland, and I've never been to Denver, and I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul, and I've never been to Moscow, and I've never been to Tampa, and I've never been to Boston in the pool. Cause we're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. And I never hoist the mainstay, and I never swab the poop deck, and I never veer to starboard, cause I never sail at all. And I've never walked the gangplank, and I've never owned that parrot, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Cause we're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. Well, I've never plucked a rooster and I'm not too good at ping pong And I've never thrown my mashed potatoes up against the wall And I've never kissed a chipmunk and I've never gotten head lice And I've never been to Boston in the fall Huh? What are you talking about? What's a rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate? Hey, that's right! We're supposed to sing about piratey things! Oh! And who's ever kissed a chipmunk? That's just nonsense! Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it! You're walking the plank! Says who? Says the cabin? That's who? Oh, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain Crunch! Hehehehe! <laughs> Yay! And I've never licked a spark plug, and I've never sniffed a stink bug, and I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball, and I've never bathed in yogurt, and I don't look good in leggings. You just don't get it. And we've never been to Boston in the fall. Pass the chips. Who's got the remote control? Here it is. Time for Heraldo. It's definitely time for Wapna. Oh, I don't like this show. Hey, look! I found a quarter! Number four! I love my lips! One day, while talking with Dr. Archibald, Larry confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, pack the bag and head it south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. Alrighty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad. You might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lip moved to the loop, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it! Did you say your father? Fascinating! So what you're saying is, if your lips left you... That'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I might get mad. I'd call my dad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. Why? Because I love my lips. Billy Bappa Billy Babu, Ebi da Babu Bada Boo Bow. Yabba da Bab Dee Ba Bow Boom Bum Bill Bab Bab Dow. Yabba da Bab Dab Blue Rum. Ebi Lula Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Laddie, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Larry, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turned blue. What could you do? Oh, they turned blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great-aunt Ruth. She had a beard. 
And it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard and it felt weird? She had a beard. Oh. Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed. And I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen and when he did start speaking, he just spoke Polish and I only knew like three words in Polish except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird, my friends all laughed. woof -da. I'm confused. I love my lips. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say... Have I ever told you how I feel about my nose? Look at the time! Bye, ba boo ba bili ba ba dee ba dee ba boo ba bili ba ba dee ba dee Number three, the hairbrush song. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Having heard his cry, Pa Grape enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. I think I saw a hairbrush back there! Back there is my hairbrush. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Back there, back there, oh where, back there, oh where, oh where, back there, back there, back there! Is my hairbrush? Having heard his joyous proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments, Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair! Larry is taken aback. The thought never occurred to him. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hairbrush? Laddie wonders... No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair, 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 back there, no hair! For my hairbrush. Having heard his wondering, Bob the Tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses... Larry, that old hairbrush of yours... Well, you never use it. You don't really need it, so... Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know. But I gave it to the peach, because he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back and laments... Not fair. Oh, my hairbrush. Not fair, my poor hairbrush. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair. My little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach enters the scene. Himself in a towel, both Larry and the peach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the peach is thankful. Thanks for that hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Laddie smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out, Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, oh my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care. Take care, nice hair, no fair. Take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. Number two, Endangered Love. We join Larry as he follows the tragic saga of Barbara Manatee in the daytime drama, Endangered Love. Barbara Manatee, you are the one for me. Fan from up above, you are the one I love. Please don't cry, Barbara. 
You're a nice manatee. You've been so good to me. But I must go into the world and do noble things for the good of all. And you can't come because you don't speak French. Au revoir. But if you leave, Bill, who will take me to the ball? Who's going to take me to the ball, Bill? I have a new dress and shoes. A new manatee lipstick. Who will take me to the ball? I'll take you to the ball, Barbara Manatee. Please don't go. I must. Don't go. I must. Don't. Must. Don't. Don't. Must. Must. Barbara Manatee. You are the one for me. Sent from up above. You are the one I love. Barbara Manatee. I'll be your Mona Me. I'll take you to the ball. I hope you're not too tall. Bill, I've learned French. You have? Mais oui. Je suis Manatee. See? Oui, oui, Mona Me. I always knew you could. I really hoped you would. Now can we go into the world and do noble things for the good of all? Yes, but first, Bill, will you take me to the ball? Oh, Bill, will you take me to the ball? I can't dance. You can't? No. I must go. Please don't go. I must. Don't go. I must. Don't. Must. Don't. Don't. Must. Must. Barbara Manatee. You are the one. Larry, what are you doing? Jeff, watching a little TV, Bob? Well, maybe you should read a book. Yeah, okay. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Bill say, Barbara, I've learned to dance. And now, the number one classic silly song from the first ten years. Here's Cheeseburger. He said to her, "I'd like a cheeseburger, and I might like a milkshake as well." She said to him, "I can't give you either." And he said, isn't this Burger Bell? She said, yes it is, but we're closed now. But we open tomorrow at 10. He said, I am extremely hungry. But I guess I can wait until then. Cause you're his cheeseburger, his yummy cheeseburger. Through till sunrise He may have dozed off once or twice When he spotted a billboard for Denny's Bacon and eggs for half price How could he resist such an offer? He really needed something to munch Cheeseburger, please do not get angry Burger with all his heart And there ain't nothing gonna tear you to ooh, ooh.
Your comments have been tabulated, and a decision has been made. Once again, Larry the Cucumber. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you bubble wrap. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Another lonely day In a crowded town Making our way The, the best, best we, we know how Yo, I sing it, man Oh, yeah! But we're moving up Yo, up, up, up! We're moving in Oh, <laughs> coming at ya! Got our dishes packed Yeah, they are stacked They've been wrapped to win Protect oh, the porcelain! Ain't gonna break it! Yo, listen no up! No way! Even if I shake it! Oh, yeah, man! All day! Covered with love! Sealed against troubles! Sheltered in a glove of bubbles, bubbles, bubbles! Safe inside the arms of my bubble, bubble, bubble wrap! What up, BITs? Let's wrap that wrap! Oh, yeah! Hey, Kaylee! Love to hear that bubble snap. Soft like clouds, thunder clap. Bubbly bubble, bubble wrap. Oh yeah, we're gonna snap, snap, snap that wrap. Oh yeah, we're gonna snap, snap, snap that wrap. What up, dog? We're gonna snap, snap, snap that wrap. Oh yeah, we're gonna snap, snap, snap that wrap. Bubble, bubble, ain't no trouble. Squeeze that, squeeze that, break that bubble. Do it once. Tune in next time to hear the boys sing. We're rapping and we're snapping our bubble, bubble, bubble rap.